What is going on, my Cardano friends? It is your friend Jack here. And in today's video, we're going to be covering Cardano or ADA's massive growth and how eventually the price is going to have to catch up. Today, let's talk about what is going on in the Cardano ecosystem. First things first, though, if you do want to earn some passive ADA and you're holding your ADA, might as well stake it with the stake pool. And if you want, you can stake with the Jack stake pool to do so. Now, I know that in terms of growth, the price is not what we're looking at here. The price has not been growing lately of really any crypto. Cardano is at 53 cents and it is a bit glim, okay? I'll admit, it doesn't look the nicest on the charts to see everything down so low, considering a year ago we were up substantially from here. So all that considered, the things that are growing are not the price. We're talking about development. And first things first, we have a weekly update from the essential cardano.io website just going over basic things and highlighting some things to remember what is being worked on right now on cardano and things to look forward to that are also coming in june for the Vasil hard fork now the teams at cardano the node ledger and consensus have been preparing for june's Vasil hard fork i'm going to make a video tomorrow more on the hard fork and relation to price because everybody wants to talk about price it seems um to me not that interesting i think the price eventually is going to have to catch up to the fundamental development that we're seeing here today now on that note they also have been working on a new node version db sync dependencies benchmarking and a diffusion pipelining had been merged to master the teams continue working on testnet and bug fixes then they finalize logging improvements and are now preparing for the closed testnet release so now we're inviting a small group of dApps to have functionality assessment for the Vasil hard fork so this is good this means that the testnet will be onboarding dApps giving them experience and making sure everything works during the test net Vasil hard fork. So this is pretty good news. You probably didn't understand the first 30 words of that sentence, neither did I. So that's okay. Now going on, there is more things going on. I'm not going to read everything because I do believe that a lot of this is very technical and probably won't be able to understand it fully myself and neither will you if you want to read it i'm going to leave the link to this update in the description but the most important things to me were the smart contracts being worked on being adding things to the functionality of plutus and the marlow teams for you know more capability especially within the marlow playground of more people being able to use these smart contracts especially the drag and drop systems that are being developed over with marlow and then we also have basho scaling this is still being worked on the hydra team is working on this and also in line with the june hard fork going on another really important factor that i want to mention for cardano's development is governance this is a huge part of it and it is still being worked on we have recently passed fund eight the eighth funding round going through cardano's decentralized governance for funding projects project catalyst and we're moving into fund nine in fund dates i don't exactly remember how much ada was made available for grants for people in the ecosystem but i believe it was more than 16 million maybe it was 32 uh, it was quite a bit of ada and that is funding projects on cardano to build on cardano and this is happening through people with Cardano or ADA voting for those projects. So really cool, really great. And I also want to mention that among all these things, we have a lot more than just projects building on Cardano that are getting funded there, but also projects that are just taking it into their own hands. Almost 6,000 NFT projects, that's pretty insane. Almost 5 million native tokens, almost a full thousand projects outside of NFTs building on Cardano. Also, 3,132 githubs going strong just this week. 85 projects fully launched on Cardano. Not sure exactly what this metric is. It'd be nice to see a list. And then over 2,700 Plutus scripts. So Cardano smart contracts. Now, all these things considered, we also have to remember that Cardano has a lot of other things going for it that I almost forget about half the time. There's no burn mechanisms. No one's tokens go into the abyss, but rather people's tokens go back into the ecosystem. Whether it be through the treasury or staking rewards, people are receiving these fees to operate the network and to keep it sustainable. Right here, we have something pretty huge that I think um, goes unnoticed that we nearly have a billion ADA in the treasury. If Cardano goes to $5, we got 5 billion US dollars in this treasury that is governed. And you might not be able to see the numbers here. It's kind of hard for me to zoom in, 
but you can see the red line, it goes down to the right because the price of Cardano is going down to the right. But the blue line, the amount of ADA in the treasury has continued to go up and up over time. We have not been spending more of this treasury than we've been accumulating through fees in the network. And this is pretty huge. It's really just another thing to have in our cockpit of tools or arsenal things that will make Cardano sustainable long term, especially having this developed and being able to be bought and used and spent through things like Project Catalyst, aka decentralized governance. Now moving on from just the basic Cardano developments that everyone should be reminded of every once in a while, scaling, treasury, you know, governance in general, huge three things that just kind of stay there and people don't mention people focus on NFTs and things. Now we're going to be shifting to more NFTs and things. But this is pretty cool having a way to onboard users via Visa and MasterCard payments for NFT makers NFT payment gateway. This is going to allow a lot more people who aren't so tech savvy to buy NFTs. They are going to, of course, have to figure out how to use a wall and how to do things. But in general, having this option opens a whole new branch of Cardano for people who don't want to just buy Cardano, switch to a wallet. They want it one click done and everything's done for them at first. This is that option. And I really like where NFT maker is taking it. So I'm pretty excited for that. And I thought I should mention it. Another thing in terms of NFTs, we do have Liquid Labs, one of the top, I'd say, um, most notable or ex excited for uh, projects on Cardano that's coming out on mainnet, hopefully this year. Um, and we have a non-custodial liquid protocol for lending and borrowing Cardano. I have done videos on Liquid. They're going to have up to 9x yield streams, um, some crazy interesting things going on here. But really, it is a DeFi lending and simplified platform. They're going to have their own stable coin. They're going to have a lot of things going on. And they have a really, really strong team behind them that has been building for well over a year now, I believe. And all that being said, the reason I mentioned them today is because they have had an NFT sale themselves. This NFT sale, I did get some myself, but mainly because NFTs from this set get you a bonus of two to 5% on your staking rewards for the liquid platform. So I thought I'd mention it now um, just before if they get too crazy, because if liquid is a success, their token is very expensive right now. I believe their tokens like 80 to 90 ADA uh, for one LQ. And if that is a success, if everything goes great, I do think these NFTs will be worth their weight in gold. So thought I'd mention it today. It's not financial advice. It's just what I'm thinking. If this project does do well, which I hope it will, because I really do like Liquid and everything they're building, then the NFTs also probably will do well. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the video today. Don't forget to stake your ADA with Jack or any stake pool for that matter to earn passive ADA on your ADA. Don't just let it sit there and have a great freaking day. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace out.